What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Project Reanimate. I am Jed, your special host, putting this old 96 Impala back together. Currently, we're in the teardown phase. So, um, in the previous episodes, of course, I've removed the front bumper. We just have the bumper support here um, at the moment. And in this week's episode, we're going to tackle... Shoot, what, what are we going to tackle? We're going to take the, the back window tent off. Back window tent's getting removed. We're going to take the back seats out, clean them. We're going to take the front seats out. And that may be as far as we get. Uh, it just depends on how much my back has available for work. What else can we do? We can take the back wing off and we're going to sand the back deck lid and get rid of bitch. We're going to remove that bitch from my back deck lid because I'm tired of fucking looking at it. So, probably shouldn't curse in the first two minutes, so you probably will have heard a beep. I gotta keep that in mind because I like to curse a lot and YouTube don't like cursing, from what I understand. So anyway, my friends, we're gonna get started. Uh, I'm also gonna take a trip to my buddy's house, Jody in Springfield, Missouri, and uh, I'm gonna take the back wing and the front bumper to him and have him start railing on it. We're gonna do some color tests. We got a really interesting color that I think um, this Impala is gonna turn into one of these days and Jody and I will be the ones painting it. And of course, we'll document the whole thing. But yeah, we'll be documenting uh, him priming the wing, him uh, spraying the wing, and then we'll get a prelim like post spray look at the, uh, the wing, uh, which is our tester color. Other than that, we'll probably try to repair the bumper, uh, the crack in the bumper and start sanding it down and prepping it with some uh, some bed liner, front liner on the bottom strip of the car or on the, the bottom strip of the bumper just as protectant, which can then be painted over once we get to that phase. So anyway, my friends, let's get started. Well, I've got about half of this done. Well, I'd say a third, if we can see. It does not, I mean, obviously look like it's, it looks way better. And of course, if you know the story behind the, uh, let me turn this off. The only reason that I have a, uh, a tent on this back glass is a matter of contention because I used to work for a guy who was quite a bit of a shit heel and um, they were going to fix my car up for this festival that we were going to go to and I got the back glass put on and he started screaming at me about I I'm not doing my work and blah 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 and he had told me that morning to put this on and tint the windows on my car like fully 100% all of them and I had man it was a rough time I worked there he he had basically uh he had basically what am I trying to say uh he had fished me out of the place that I was working at and I was really bored with selling shoes and wanted to uh wanted to do something different and um he owned a detail shop in Arkansas. And when I got down there, I, I ran pretty much everything in the detail shop. The only thing I didn't do was mechanic work, which uh, I don't even think they were mechanics. I think it was just a dude that he knew that came in to work on people's cars. But I ended up running their Excel spreadsheet, taking all of their receipts, doing all of their, uh, their um, automotive install briefings, uh, did all of the detailing, all of the the window tinting and they made it pretty easy because they had an early cry cut which is a you know a thing that prints out the exact size of windows so it was like super easy but anyway yeah so we did this window uh, i pulled the seats out of this bitch i took the back pad out everything 
and had it had it all ready to tent and he changed his mind and he used to do that shit all the time in fact uh he didn't uh he didn't pay me one week and that's what that's what kind of uh led me to get the fuck out of there was because he was starting to say shit like well you didn't work hard enough this week and it's like well dude i, I worked 40 hours this week hey, look at that mm, that's the whole thing that's adhesive and the uh the tent but uh anyway yeah, it was always kind of a disaster in that sense. He was always doing something to cut cost and make people feel like shit. And his business is still open because that's the type of motherfucker that runs a business. But anyway, um, I'm going to get back to peeling these. I'm probably only going to do a little bit today. It's a Sunday and it's kind of rainy and it's perfect. But I got this awesome steamer. Whoops. That... There we go. Okay, anyway, can't play with it. It fucking burned me. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to it. And uh, you know what? This is the first thing I've done this week. And I was actually cleaning that chair that you saw at the beginning and then decided that I would start working on the car. I was going to take a day off from working on the car, but I got way too excited about getting this off because this is a matter of contention for me. Um, having seen this for so many years, not to go back, but I want to kind of encapsulate my thought. Having to look at this tinted window for the last 12 years has been oh, no shit six i worked there in 2007 so 15 years 16 years almost 16 years um having to look at it all the time is a reminder of that part of my life and um getting rid of it will help me stop thinking about it randomly when i look at my car so anyway it'd be great to get it all the way off here but yeah. all right back to filming Okay, my friends, I'm gonna take a break from cleaning this glass up because I'm kind of in that tedious, teeny tiny pieces phase now. Got most of it peeled off. It looks amazing and uh, as you can see, we're doing pretty well on that front. I'm really happy, really happy that I don't have to see this window tent anymore because that, like I said, was a difficult part of my life. I don't think I, made it clear enough, but it was very challenging to be part of a group of people who were automotive enthusiasts and what they truthfully were, were people that were uh, young and stupid and swindling others out of their money and their time and their effort. But anyway, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a break from this. I have got a burr in my saddle to take this wing off and sand the trunk so we don't see bitch anymore across this trunk lid it's starting to rust just a tad bit but it actually just was down to the uh, the primer so a buddy of mine say hello to my dog my buddy jody donated a sander to the movement you know what i'm saying so that's going to make this five or six hours easier. <laughs> All I gotta do is attach it to my air compressor. What an amazing thing. And uh, my brother Thomas donated lots and lots and lots of tools. You'll hear his name a lot on this channel. Um, he donated this respirator for the week and then gave me a uh, an older respirator that he had, which I've gotten cleaned up already. And, uh, you should see in some of this footage today. So anyway, uh, the rest of this stuff is tape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the trunk, pull the rear wing off. I'm not even going to concern myself with the rear wing at this moment. It's a polymer wing. As far as I know, it requires fiberglass work and Bondo work and sanding, prep and paint and all that. And I think probably that will be, that will be pushed to when Jody and I actually paint the car. 
because it really doesn't, I don't see any benefit in cleaning it up any further. Sun has already killed all the paint on it anyway. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm going to tape, uh, get that pulled off, and then I'm going to tape up this window and all this area here just to make sure I don't uh, over sand. Okay, we're going to start now. I don't think I've explained fully how I have the word bitch scrawled across my uh, vehicle. Oh boy. How are you? He's going to town, ain't he? Come on over here. He, I got him tied up so I can work on my car a little bit. He's like, give me treats. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks. That's our mailman. He's so nice. Uh, you like your treat, Bubba? Wow, that's not where I thought that was going. Uh, that's our mailman. And uh, our mail lady, he loves. He, uh, he's got, you know, those radar ears. And he'll hear her coming for a mile and get all worked up if we're outside. And uh, our mailman, we've had him for a long time, but just, I think four or five days ago, I said hello to him because old Murph here went nuts and he gave him a treat. So that's what we're doing now. <laughs> Oh my God, I love you, dog. Okay, so anyway, back to why I have, let me make this wide. I know this is not the prettiest looking shot, but it don't matter. Uh, October 31st, 2020 or 2021. All I gotta say is the date. Some stupid motherfucker come by this uh, area that I live in and uh, I live in the most rural subdivision in my area. There's no lights at night, and I think that's probably the problem, is there's no lights. So, I came outside, my car, of course, bitch was scrawled across the top, the hood was fucked up, the sides were, you know, all scratched up and shit too. And you can't see it very well there. But, uh, Anyway, they threw a pumpkin through my neighbor's door, front door, and they scrawled bitch across the back of my car, keyed it up. They broke into the car. Fun <clears throat> funniest thing to me is I had a, uh, a pill bottle with pennies in it, and they took the pill bottle out, left the console, center console sitting up, and, and the pill bottle in the seat, like to tell me that uh, next time I get robbed to put actual pills in the pill bottle. Okay, I'm going to stop bullshitting and then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to tape the thing down. So to get the wing off, here is two bolts on the underside of the hood. I'm not sure exactly how to shoot this because it's a little bit tedious. However, it's right there. See that? There's one. We're going to travel over. This is our latch. There's two. There's the second one right there. Okay, and you're going to need a deep socket. 10 millimeter with an extension to get it because it's got a long, long screw in it to hold it down.
So it looks like <clears throat> <clears throat> I forgot my lights were on. Um, let me turn that off. How about now? <clears throat> there we go. So it looks like um, I did not record the rest of me finishing the uh, the trunk lid. The truth is the um, apparatus that Jody gave me, while it was amazing, it only worked for about 30 or 45 seconds because my air tank, I guess, uh, doesn't hold enough air. Uh, it's a small problem. It's not a huge problem. I did the whole hood by myself with sandpaper and a, and a sandpaper brick. Uh, I can do the trunk lid. Super easy. So the, the B-I-T-C-H is still there. The exclamation point is still there. Uh, but in the future, you'll just see me sanding away on it by hand. So anyway, we're going to skip over to taking the back seat out and the rear dash pad, the plastics um, all across the car and then we're going to take out the front seats and yada 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 and surprise please keep watching it gets uh just as interesting as it has been hopefully <laughs> i just you know lord have mercy please enjoy the things that i'm doing like share and subscribe follow for more hit the notification bell i sold my soul to the devil and there's no real point yet because i'm not monetized this is all for you guys and for me so um, yeah, come on. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay, so I've already taken this out, but what holds the uh, the back seat, this is the bottom of the back seat, is this Torx bolt. And it uh, holds the seat belt, and it also has this uh, little round clip. This is fun, <laughs> but I'm also too big for my back seat. <laughs> I can't even fucking this thing, let alone tear it apart. Took out the third brake light. Um, pulled this dash pad off of the back. I'm not going to put it back in until all this is clean. As you can see, everything's filthy. So. This whole thing's gonna get cleaned out. That's the trunk. Anywho. Here's the dash pad. The back the rear dash pad, I should say. And uh a starring roll for my little boy there. Doing what he does best. Sitting on shit he ain't supposed to. Look at him, he's so damn cute. Hey Murphy. <laughs> I'm coming. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, this is the seat back. As you can tell, the uh, upholstery is done up here. I actually didn't even see that till I pulled it off. And the back seat. And I did this the other day. You gonna check it out, Murph? And I did this the other day. 
Amanda did this the other day. As you can see, there's no build sheet anymore. I probably took it out. We see, Murph. We smell. Anyway, I probably took the build sheet out. That might be something right there, that little tag. But, yeah, no full build sheet anymore. Murph, what you say? What you say, boss? What you say? Look at this sweet boy. Look at this sweet boy. So we rode in this car a lot, didn't we? Hey, leave me a comment below if you know anything about these dash pads because um, I don't know if it's compressed material or if it's compressed over the last 28, 7 years or whatever. But when I was cleaning it, I was pulling it up and I finally just stopped uh, pressing down so hard because I don't know if it's supposed to compress that way. Let me know if you know. Holy shit, look at this. I haven't smoked in nine years. These are Marlboro Mediums Blues or something. They were menthol. Good riddance. Two more here. So six, six bolts in all, there are uh, bolt covers, plastic bolt covers on all four points. And uh, I'd, suggest leaving, I'd suggest leaving the battery on while you do this because you're never going to find the perfect spot for the chair to be forward and backward at the same time. You're going to cover the two front bolts up when you get uh, open enough to cover these four bolts. And then you got to wheel it back to get the two bolts in front. So just leave your battery running, wheel the seat back and forth until you're ready, and then take the take the battery off when uh, when you get ready to unplug the seats. Just save yourself the trouble. There we go. Just unplug the doohickey there. Look at all how fucking gross this is. This is all me. I bought it looking brand new. This is all me. I can't even... Uh, I can't even believe that I let it get this nasty. But that's what we're doing this for. Project Reanimate is a total mind, body, and physical thing experience. 
it benefits everything I do and everywhere I'm going to go future. So thanks for sticking with me. Okay, here's the passenger seat. There's just one here and one over here that you can't see and uh, you get the picture. Man, this is a lot of progress for me. I never had these seats out or anything like this. But uh, they're surprisingly not heavy, considering they got like actuators and everything on the bottom of them, you know? See? I guess they don't weigh too much, but like the actuators themselves. But yeah, it's uh, it was really hard. And look at this nasty shit that I gotta clean out. I'm so excited to pull this whole fucking interior out. There are two screws in the glove box. Not the glove box, the change drawer. <laughs> That's what it is. And then there's two in here. Well, underneath the plastic there. This is a, if you remember correctly, that's the shroud I took out and cleaned. And probably some other surprise screws, but those are the four that I know of. So let me get those started. 10 mil with extension. Okay, now I gotta take this off. I think there's a little slide clip in it and you just pop it off. Uh, yeah, that's it. The slide clip is right here.
Nasty, nasty, nasty. Okay. Both of these, uh, this and this have to come off. There's a hex bolt here, under here, and a hex bolt right here. So I've got to take those off to get to the carpet because the carpet's still technically bolted into the floor. Not technically, actually. It was literally just that one bolt there and uh, came out. It's easy, super easy. And I just got to take this bolt out here. But I'm also gonna look into, I'm getting rid of this completely, but it needs to be replaced for sound deadening. So if you guys got any suggestions out there what I could use for cheap to De sound dead in this pillar these pillars all of them uh let me know but look how fucking filthy it is see that's 15 or 16 years of do you hear that well, who, who's fucking driving like that so i got a bald ass tire or doing really shitty donuts i don't know it's been going on for minutes anyway yeah it's fucking gross okay next step is to take this guy off here I got this driver's side off and it is a hex screw. Pretty easy to pop off. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. did it oh god yeah hey gutted won't take long to clean it either it's great and it looks to be oh in amazing condition All right, I think I'm gonna skip the vacuuming it out today. I gotta do something that stands up, so we're gonna start degreasing and scrubbing the shit out of that. I say stand up, but I mean, even though this car is huge, I have a hard time getting in and out of it. So uh, I'll be able to get down on my knees and pray that I don't do anything drastic to kill this. This is actually the third leg to the tripod this is the third one I've broken doing this show but anyway yeah, I'm gonna stretch this out and go get my cleaner and start spraying it off
Ja. Don't worry, it will grow back. Now that is a smell I don't like. That? Burning plastic. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either. Oh Jesus, this has been fixed before. Fixed. Yeah. Fixed. Quote unquote. Somebody put a big wad of something uh bubble wrap in it on the back side and glued it to it the fuck i don't know i have no fucking idea i tried to like figure out what happened with it but i never could i hate this type of cladding wow it's just barely on there anyway Oh, yeah. Some spots are, I mean. I cannot tell you how happy I am to see that going. Okay. I'll throw that away, Joe. You don't have to keep it in here. Honestly, man, it may not need too much because of the lip there. It's a good lip. So as far as this lid, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that as much because what we'll do before we paint it, we will rhino line that. Oh yeah, that'd yeah, be we'll perfect. Yeah, we'll take off and rhino line it. That way, you don't have to worry about any further rock chips or anything, and yeah. the rhino liner can be painted. Dude, that yeah, that would be fucking ill, man. I mean, that could even become like its own little accoutrement. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. okay. So, yep, I'm gonna do this side a little bit. Sorry. 
Here. Let me catch it. Here, let me. We're gonna have to double team this bad boy. Yeah, dude, let's touch tips, man. What do you mean all the same color? The... So this right here, like I said, once it dries, it's fully paintable. Oh, really? Yeah, so it'll have the durability, Holy but it'll shit. be the same color as the car. I had no fucking idea that you could paint over it. Yep. You know, Murph, maybe not. Maybe not do that, okay? Alright, so that does it for this week's edition of Project Reanimate. I'll leave you with a couple clips of the car revving up just so you can hear what the Flowmaster 40 Series single chamber sounds like. Ass. And uh, you can make your own decision on whether or not you think it sounds like a 1997 Chevy Silverado pickup truck going like 45 miles an hour max speed with a 17 year old driving it. You tell me. You let me know because it reminds me of the 90s in the worst possible way and I can't wait to get rid of the exhaust. If the LT1 didn't sound so crazy with no exhaust, I would just cut the exhaust off, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna have to deal with those ugly uh, single chambers that I've had on there for like 12 years that have never sounded good to me. Anyway, thank you so much guys. Hey, I'm knocking on 100 subscribers door. Knock, knock, thank you so much for that. Make sure to uh, like, subscribe, and share if you haven't done so. Hit that notification bell. All that crap that I wish I didn't have to say. But the truth is, like, if I want an audience, I have to do those things. And you have to provide that for me. I have to make the cool video that you like, and you got to share. So please share. So with that said, um, I'm really tired. I just finished the edit on this film.
I hope you love it. I really do. Filmmaking is a passion of mine, and I'm not really using the best parts of it at the moment, but I'm doing what I can. So I'm signing out. This is Jed with Project Reanimate. Y'all take care. See you next week.